This presentation is a brief walkthrough of the Class Notebook tab. The Class Notebook tab sits in the ribbon of OneNote 2016. When we click on this link here, we get access to all of these tools that you see along the bottom of the ribbon. The following slides will go through the functions of each of these buttons one at a time. First, we have the Distribute Page button. When we click on this, a drop down menu reveals any of the sections that sit within that class notebook. Say you're on a page and you want to distribute it to the student sections. You simply click on this distribute page button and then you choose which section you want the page to appear in. You've also got the option to choose individuals and groups to distribute to. The distribute new section button allows you to create new folders in student areas. As an example, if we click Distribute New Section, we could be creating a new assignment folder. You've also got the option to create groups of folders. And examples might be subjects or terms. Whenever you create a new section or section group, this will instantly appear in each student's section. You can also distribute a content library. When you click this button, you'll see the following pop-up appear. Here you've got the option to choose from any sections in your current content library, and you can decide which class notebooks will get copies of them. So you can tick one or more, and then click on the copy button. The good thing about this process is it allows you to quickly migrate content from one class notebook to another, but it doesn't delete the content from the first class notebook. It is a copying process. Reviewing student work is a very fast and powerful way to get feedback to your students quickly. When you click the Review Student Work button, you'll have the option to choose from any of the sections that appear in all student areas. In this example, I clicked on Appraising S2 task, and it then opened up this dialog window. You can either choose to expand all, and you'll see every single page appear in these groupings, or you can just go into one area and click on the plus. And what that will do is expand that down and you can go through each student's page one at a time to add your digital feedback. As a pop-up window, close it when you're finished with using it and you can continue to use your class notebook as normal. The best way to create a new class notebook is to use the Create Class Notebook button in the ribbon. When you click that button, you'll move into this class notebook interface. You'll notice that it's on OneNote.com, and that's because all class notebooks are created online. In this cloud space, the class notebook is able to set up all the permissions for you, your co-teachers, and the students. It's very important that you name the class and therefore the class notebook appropriately. You only get one chance to do this, and if you name it incorrectly, you need to delete the class notebook and start again. Firstly, add the year as four digits. Then the name of the subject with the year level as well, in this case, 10 English. If this is one of a number of classes, add the number of the class or the color code of the class. Perhaps it's 10 English 3 or it's year 6 blue. The final piece of information should be 
your name because this will help indicate who created the class notebook and therefore on whose OneDrive folders does the class notebook sit. Having done that, click the next button and you'll work your way through the rest of the steps until the class notebook is created. Say a student arrives in your class after you've created your class notebook. First, click on the Add Remove Students button. This will take you to OneNote and there you can choose the notebook that you want to add the student to. When you've clicked on the name of the notebook, you'll get a field where you can start typing in the student's details and you should see some matches appear underneath it. You can add one or more names here and when you're finished, simply click the purple box and that will add the student to your class notebook. You will receive the email and so will the student. Adding and removing teachers is the same process. First, click the button. Secondly, choose the class notebook. Then after that, enter the teacher's name, find the match and click the purple box. The teacher will receive an email and you will receive a copy of that email. The Manage Notebooks option gives you lots of functions. As before, with students and teachers, you click on the link and then you select the class notebook. From here, you'll have the option to lock and unlock the collaboration space, add a teacher only section and set up very particular and fine-tuned permission settings for students and student groups. Rather than covering all of those functions here, why not click on the Manage Notebooks button, choose a notebook and have a look at the options that are available. Finally, there are other options available and these are at the end of the ribbon. Villanova College doesn't use connections, so we'll jump from that to professional development. When you click on the professional development button, you'll see these options here. I can highly recommend the Microsoft Educator Community. In fact, this is where I receive all of my training to learn about OneNote 2016 and the other Microsoft apps that we use every day in education. To learn more about this add-in, I would recommend the second link. There's also some great training and a blog that you might wish to subscribe to. Use help and feedback if you want to communicate with the Microsoft team. You might want to report a problem or even send a suggestion about a way that OneNote can become more useful to you and to other teachers in education. 